Hello? Oh, hi, God. Yeah, I'm glad you got my prayers. So tell me now what's going on. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Really? That doesn't make any sense to me at all. Are you sure about that? Oh, yes, of course, you're God. All right, well then tell me what I need to do next. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Don't you wish it was that easy to hear from God? I mean, as Christians, we've all been told to listen for God's voice, but how do you do that? It's, a, it's easier said than done. Now, in the Old Testament, it seemed to be easier. I mean, God would show up unexpectedly and scare people half to death, or he'd be speaking through the voice, the booming voice of some prophet. It was harder to miss his voice back then, I think. But in the New Testament now, the Holy Spirit lives inside us. He speaks to us from the inside. So how does he do that? Well, the number one way God speaks to us is through the Bible. I mean, after all, it is his word. It's the only book on the planet that's actually alive. It's not just paper. So when you read the Bible, ask God to show you verses that directly apply to your life so that they jump off the page and come alive to you. And the second way is through circumstances. As doors open and close in your life, God leads you. And God will also speak to you through other people. You might listen to a sermon, hear a song, or get the advice or a conversation from a friend, and you hear exactly what you need to hear that answers some question and settles something in your spirit. But the most difficult or controversial way is when God speaks directly to us one-to-one. -one. I heard what you just said. You just said, God never speaks to me. <laughs> That isn't true at all. Jesus made it very clear that my sheep hear my voice. So you are hearing the voice of God. You just haven't learned to recognize his voice yet. So how does he speak to us? It's, th it's through our thoughts. But that raises a whole other problem. Because our minds are always busy. How do we know when God wants to get a word in? Well, wouldn't it be so much easier if God had some kind of a signal to tell us when he was about to speak into our minds, like this? There are three sources for our thoughts, but it can be really hard to separate them. And that is Satan, God, and ourselves. Now, it's easier to spot Satan's thoughts because they always make you upset. They want to increase negative emotions, make you angry, fearful, or ashamed. And so when you get those kinds of thoughts, you know where they came from, so dispose of them. Now, our own thoughts are usually analyzing life events around us, uh, figuring out what decisions to make. But they can quickly turn very negative if Satan triggers an old memory, for example. But how do you tell when God puts a thought into your mind? Well, you have to test it. So the first test is, is the thought compatible with the Bible? If you get a thought that tells you something that's totally incompatible with scriptures, then throw it out completely. And then, is the thought compatible with God's personality or character? So if you got a thought that said, wow, you're an idiot, that would be totally out of character for God because he loves you too much to talk like that, so you toss that out. Also too, does it make sense? So you may get a thought that says, go attack the Philistines. And you'd say, well, that's in the Bible, but it doesn't make any sense. So, I would dispose of that too. One very valuable tool to tell if you're hearing God's voice is if you get a thought that you don't normally think. And this has been very helpful for me. If I'm working on a problem and I get a thought that isn't normally the kinds of thoughts I would think, I suspect that it's from God. Or if you suddenly get an answer to something you've been praying about, presume that's from God too. I've had the experience that I, I'm in the middle of asking God a question and the answer arrives even before I finish the sentence. And also too, do you have a sense of that feels right? Does it settle your spirit? Those are very useful ways of telling if you're hearing God's voice. I had a very interesting experience when I was first starting to learn the voice of God. And so I was starting to practice and experiment with this. So I remember asking God a question and immediately a very godly answer came to mind that, that answered the question, but I wasn't sure if this was the voice of God or just something out of my own memory of godly thoughts. So I asked God, I said, how do I know if that was you or just one of my own godly thoughts? And his answer came immediate and he says, where do you think you get your godly thoughts? So that settled it for me. When I get a godly thought, I know I'm hearing from God. So in your devotional life, when you're quiet before God and thinking about him, 
ask God to speak to you through the scriptures, that a verse will jump off the page to directly apply to your life. And then ask God to speak to you right directly into your thoughts. And then wait to listen to, to the thoughts that appear in your mind. Now remember, his thoughts sound like your thoughts. He's not going to talk to you in King James, and they're quiet. You have to learn to train your ear to hear it. But he loves you, and he's always talking to you, and so you'll be able to hear his voice. Now a book that's really helped me understand hearing the voice of God is this one by Mark Verkler. And so I've actually put a link to this book in the, uh, on the blog page beneath this video. So go have a look at it. So to live a transformed life, you need to be able to hear and recognize the voice of God. Well, now I want to hear from you. How can you tell when you're hearing the voice of God in your thoughts? Just leave your comments in the box below. Now, if this is your first visit here, then you need to get my free four-part self-assessment guide. And to do that, just subscribe to my weekly email newsletter by filling out the subscription form right there. And I'll talk to you again next week, but this week, practice listening to God's voice.